Hi, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and today I want to talk to you about three stocks that I think are grossly undervalued when you compare them to their peers. Now, what this is, this is New Cannabis Ventures, and these are the top revenue generating reporting companies in America and Canada. Now, the thing that really caught my attention is three companies that I believe amongst all their peers happen to be extremely grossly undervalued. So you can see here in America that GW Pharma is number one, True Leave is number two, Kushco Holdings is number three, Cura Leaf is number four, and then MedMan is number five. Now, underneath MedMan is Charlotte's Web, Green Thumb Industries, Cresco Labs, Tilray, Harvest Health and Recreation, CV Sciences, and we're going to stop there. All of those companies are making less money than MedMen. All of them are priced higher. This shows me that MedMen is undervalued. In my opinion, MedMen is undervalued amongst its peers. So when you look at MedMen and you see $29.9 in revenue for the quarter... I just feel like there is so much upside for MedMen. Everybody trying to say, oh, you know, MedMen this, MedMen that. MedMen is making money. MedMen is one of the biggest companies in America. And for their price, when you compare them to their peers, they are grossly undervalued. That's why I believe MedMen is one of the best stocks to buy, one of the best stocks to own, one of the best stocks to watch right now in the entire cannabis sector. At only $3.24, it is the lowest it's ever been. It's at a 52-week low. It's never been lower than this. The lowest it's ever been is $3.11. So you might be able to get a tiny little bit lower. But chances are, regardless of where you get it in this range, the upside is fabulous. I mean, we've seen this last year, not too long ago, around legalization at almost $10. It was at $9.88. We are currently at $3.24. At some point, at some time, they are going to start to realize their true potential, and we're going to see them back at $10. And anybody who gets in now at these prices, that's a 200% increase for you if you're willing to wait. And that's really what it comes down to here. Let me show you something else. Another reason why I really like MedMen, and I've talked about them a lot at length, and they've just been going down and down and down, which I believe is going to create an amazing buying opportunity for investors. So let's take a look at their share structure. Share structure to me is one of the key elements that determines whether a company is undervalued, overvalued, how much liquidity there's going to be, how much selling pressure there's going to be. Let's take a look here at MedMen. So this is what I really like about MedMen. Only 129 million shares issuing outstanding. So they have a small share structure when you compare them to their peers. The stock price is very low and they're priced right with their revenue being Top five in America at $29.9 million for the quarter, 39% quarter over quarter growth, 873% year over year growth. But this is the big reason why they're, they're currently down. They lost $64 million in the quarter. So once they can start showing some profit and some revenue, I see this bad boy exploding. Right now, this is simply a buying opportunity. So that's MedMen. That's the first pick that I'm looking at that I think is grossly undervalued. Who else do I feel is grossly undervalued? So these are all the American companies right now that are listed, that are reporting in America. And I like a lot of these picks. But there's another pick that I've been looking at very, very carefully that should also be on this list. 
that is grossly undervalued. So let's look at the American companies and now let's look at the Canadian companies. So we looked at the American companies. Now in Canada, number one in the world is Canopy Growth, 83 million in quarterly sales, 256 percent quarter over quarter growth which is phenomenal and 283 percent year over year growth yet 151 million dollar loss is what is staggering for canopy growth now we look at aurora 65 million in quarterly sales that puts them second in the world 20 percent quarter over quarter growth 305 percent year over year growth but a 94 million dollar loss so they're at 65 million. Then Organogram, which has been on fire, 26.9 million in quarterly sales. Then we get into Labs, which has been absolutely on fire, 22 million in quarterly sales. Then we get into Afria, 17.9 million in quarterly sales. Then we get into Cantrust, 16.9 million in quarterly sales. And then we come up to a company that I find stupidly undervalued, National Access Cannabis. N-A-C-N-F in America, M-E-T-A in Canada. They are an absolute giant as far as generating revenue. 16.2 million in revenue in the quarter. Trading under a dollar, 328% quarter over quarter growth and 3,008% year over year growth. They did lose 4.5 million in the quarter. But if you compare this company to all of the companies in Canada and the United States that are listed in the top, they're the most undervalued. They're the lowest priced company making the most money. To me, that generates massive interest, massive opportunity. So I believe National Access Cannabis is grossly undervalued and has enormous, enormous upside. Let's take a look at National Access Cannabis. Meta in Canada. Here it is, 71 cents. So the low low, if we look at the last year, is 43 cents, 40, yeah, 44 cents. So we might be able to get it a little bit lower. The high high is $1.32. We are currently at 71, generating 16 million a quarter. I feel like National Access Cannabis may be one of the most undervalued companies in the entire sector. And people still don't know about this company. So the upside is absolutely tremendous. The symbol in America is NACNF. Let's take a look at NACNF. Let's pull up NACNF. National Access Cannabis, 54 cents in America. And if we pull up Meta here, we are going to see exactly how many shares they have. So when you pull up Meta, you see the share structure and 164 million shares are issued outstanding, 186 million total shares. So they don't have a huge number of shares, they are in the right realm as far as shares. The price is good and the revenue is good. So this is one that I think everybody needs to watch. Put it on your radar, put it on your watch list. M-E-T-A in Canada, N-A-C-N-F in America. And I think it goes way higher, way, way, way higher. Now also wanted to show you that Medman symbol in America is M-M-N-F-F. MMNFF is the American symbol for MedMen in Canada, MMEN in Canada, and MMNFF in America, currently trading around a 52 week low of 241.93. The lowest it's been in the last year is 235. So we are hunting bottoms and we are so close to the bottom. So there's two of my three picks that I think are grossly undervalued that have so much potential. And what could be my third pick? Scanning all of these winners in Canada and the United States, what could possibly be my third pick? How about Supreme Cannabis? Supreme Cannabis is just a sleeping giant. I do not know why they're not going higher. They generated 10 million in the quarter. Their revenue is growing exponentially. 29% 
quarter over quarter growth, 382% over the last year. And they did have a $6.1 million loss in the quarter, but so did everybody else. This is a company that I think has so much potential. They just announced that they're acquiring Blisco. They are working with Wiz Khalifa. They are doing so many great things. I think FIRE is a giant. The symbol in Canada is F-I-R-E, and the OTC symbol in America is S-P-R-W-F. And if you look at the prices here, first let's look at the share structure. So currently at $1.86, I can't see a company more undervalued than this. I don't know if there is one. You can see the shares outstanding are 292 million shares issued outstanding. And they've been making a lot of news with the acquisition of Blisco. And this is a company that I find to be grossly undervalued. Gross, grossly, grossly undervalued. Let's see here. 186 seems ridiculous. At some point, these bad boys are either going to explode or they're going to be acquired. Those are the only two things that will happen here. The symbol in America is SPRWF. And the lowest it's been, I mean, it's been a much lower. What's the 52-week low? Yeah, you could see here over the last year, the lowest it's been is 85 cents. So it has definitely been lower. But the highest it's been is... Two dollars and three cents, and it's currently at a dollar thirty-nine in America. So I believe that Fire is grossly undervalued. They're making money. The revenue is growing. They've got some great partnerships. They're doing huge acquisitions. They've got a great brand in Seven Acres. I believe this is a company that is going to be an absolute giant in the sector. And if they don't become a giant, chances are they will be acquired because they're too good to fail, they have a great brand, and this is a company that has so much potential. You can see here the American price, SPRWF at 139, and in Canada at 186. So those are the three picks that I believe are undervalued amongst their peers. These are the top three stocks I think that you should think about owning, uh, long term, I don't know how they're going to do short term, but I think long term, when you compare them to their peers, Supreme Cannabis, $10 million in revenue in the quarter, priced right. National Access Cannabis, $16.2 million in the quarter, priced right. Look at all the companies around them. They are all trading higher than them. These three companies which I brought you today are all undervalued amongst their peers. The first pick, MedMen Enterprises, may be one of the most undervalued companies in the entire sector. The second pick, National Access Cannabis, the only company on this entire list under a dollar and generating top 10 revenue in the entire world for this industry. And Fire, another sleeping giant that's making money, has a great company, great brands, great celebrity brands behind it, I find those three to be hugely undervalued, hugely underappreciated. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. I love MedMen. I love Fire. And I love Meta. All three companies that I think are going to be absolutely enormous. I'd love to know what you guys think. Please comment down below. If you like this video, smash the like button. Share the video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. Meta, Fire, MedMen. Three companies that I believe are underappreciated, undervalued, underexposed. You heard it here first from your boy Rich. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners. We analyze them. And we bring them to you first. It's true. I'm out. Peace. Meta. Medman. And fire.
It's true.